My dear children, today is Christmas Day, a very important occasion here in Black Swan Bay. After today's training, I have decided that the lucky person going to the capital this year is... Anton! Ha! <laughs> That's great! Anton! I knew you'd win! Z was never a match for you! As for the rest of you, cheer up. Commissioner Bondarev has already confirmed to me that chocolate will now become a part of our long-term supplies. And when he goes back, he will convince the authorities to grant us more quotas. This is a time to rejoice! Let's celebrate this wonderful night! Huh. I told you, you're not going anywhere! Where's Z? Is he too scared to come? <laughs> what a coward. <laughs> I will make mincemeat of you. Let's go, Anton. I need to give you a full and thorough examination. I can only send you off to the capital once I am fully satisfied with the state of your health. Yes, Doctor. I really didn't expect that it would be Anton who ends up going to the capital. I thought it would be you. Looks like you'll have to wait another year. Oh, my little Renata. Have I ever told you that fable? It's a known fact that some wolves disguise themselves in sheep's clothing. First, they gain the herd's trust. They then use all kinds of excuses to take a sheep away, and this way, one by one, they manage to devour the entire herd. You mean Derek de Herzog is a bad man, but... What do you think? I better stop here. I suppose this is not a good story to tell on Christmas Eve. I was planning on giving you your Christmas gift tonight, but I don't think it's a good idea to unwrap it in anyone else's presence. I'm gonna go get some sleep. At the end of the millennium, Satan shall be released from his prison. Nations shall then fall in total disarray. Gog and Magog shall be summoned to wars, where their numbers are as sands by the sea.
Come with me. I want to show you something you'll find very interesting. Consider this my Christmas gift to you. Do not refuse or question me. I don't have to explain myself, and I will not accept a refusal from you. Please enjoy the lovely performance. It was arranged especially for you. Behold, the downfall of a god. Holy crap! A dragon! So the legends are... they're real. The dragon Raja had ruled the world since the ancient times. They enslaved other living beings under the army of Nidhogg, the Dark King, and the Four Overlords. In order to rise against this oppression, some humans drank the dragon blood. They became human hybrids, who possessed the power of the dragon. Eventually, a war between dragons and humans broke out. Faced with the human hybrid armies and the four overlords that had gone renegade, even the supreme Nidhogg could not escape his grim fate. This marked the end of the dragon's reign. Humans became rulers of the world, and their vengeance quickly spread to the four overlords and the dragon survivors. The latter were forced into hiding, or fell into a deep slumber. There, they awaited the summoning of a new king. But what people don't know is that while dragon blood in high concentrations is indeed lethal, when it is diluted, it becomes the best catalyst for species evolution. The creatures inside the petri dishes are the result of your animal experiments, yes? Yes, just look at them. Polar bears that have grown charged carrying bone spurs. Snakes that have developed dragonfly wings. If only we could apply this miracle to the human body. Do you mean to tell me those children? Of course, orphans, 
the best experiment subjects one could hope for. Come forth and witness firsthand the power of the hybrids. Shoot him, please, Commissioner. Anton has the ability to increase air viscosity and turn air into gel form around him. The physical principle behind such power is currently unknown to us, but you have already witnessed its stunning efficacy. Anton is even capable of cancelling out the kinetic energy of high-speed bullets. Well, that means that we could have a hybrid army under our control and use it to conquer the entire world. Sure, but the current experimentation phase still has a major flaw. Test subjects have a life expectancy of no more than 20 years. So each year, I put the defective subjects to rest in advance, with the excuse of school admission in the capital. Take this poor, unfortunate child, for example. The dragon blood is literally ripping his body apart. If allowed to, he will become a terrifying monster in less than three days. So, would you please end his misery, for his own sake, Commissioner? Doctor, you have shared with me your most important secret. But I'm afraid I have some bad news for you. You have also attracted the attention of an institution called Castle College. I came here to figure out the secret purpose of this place before they did. We must immediately relocate the project and abandon Black Swan Bay. Black Swan Bay has always been and still is, the perfect hideout for us. To give it up and leave would be a great pity indeed. Your secret will not stay a secret much longer. If word of the Elder Dragon gets out, the entire fruit of your research will be taken away from you. Well then, go ahead. Go ahead and blow Black Swan Bay to smithereens. We will be commanding one of the greatest powers imaginable. Individuals with such power are true kings. And in my experience, kings do not share sovereignty with anyone else. But what will happen to those kids? You seem to have de Granted, these roses may seem precious in the Arctic Circle, but I assure you that the place we are heading for is nothing short of an ever-blooming garden. Mr. Bondarev, let Black Swan Bay vanish from the map once and for all.
This is White Stork. This is White Stork. Approaching target destination. Area lockdown. Repeat. Area lockdown. Over. Swan death. Mission started. Over.
Live. You have to live. The cleanup ops are complete. Load the Elder Dragon onto the ship. My little Renata. I said that I have a gift for you. I promise you, I will take you with me. Always, no matter where I go, we will not abandon nor betray each other until death do us part. You are awake. There's someone waiting for you. Come with me. Principal, here's the student. 